Hi, I'm Apparatus Operator Mark Hutchison with Spring Fire Department. I'm going to talk to you about Spring Fire Department's fleet of trucks. We have different aerial devices. We have a tower, we have a ladder, we also have rescue trucks, tanker, and this one in particular is a fire engine or a pumper. We use this for fire suppression. We can, it carries 750 gallons of water and we can also hook up to a fire hydrant if we need more than 750 gallons of water. We would take this truck if there's a house fire, car fire, anything like that and use it to actually put out the fire. This is what we call our front bumper line and we typically use it for car fires, trash fires, fires and dumpsters, things like that. Let me show you the rest of the truck. This is our pump panel. This controls how much water we get out of the truck. So this truck holds 750 gallons of water. This is the pump panel that controls where all that water goes and how fast it comes out of the truck. We have a few different hoses that are already connected to the truck. The firefighter could come out here and pull this hose to start putting out the fire. If the 750 gallons was not enough, we could connect to the fire hydrant using this attachment here and that would get us more water coming directly from the fire hydrant in the street. This would be my air pack if, if I need to get geared up with the other guys and go inside and fight fire. And we have various tools in here, different things that help me connect to the fire hydrant or to attach different hoses. We keep extra air bottles on the truck. As you saw, these, these attach to the firefighter's gear. If they need more, they can connect they can grab one of these bottles and connect it to their air pack and go inside. We also have a wide variety of hand tools on the truck. We have a couple of different kinds of axes here. We have what we call a halligan also. We, can use, we use that for if we need to break into a door, we can use that to pry the door open. We can also use the axes if we need to break through something, if we need to break through a fence or a wall or anything like that. Move, moving further down the truck, we have some power tools. We have two different chainsaws. We can use these. The smaller one we would use if we needed to cut a tree or cut some limbs out of the way. The bigger one we use if we need to cut a hole in the roof. Sometimes we would need to cut a hole in the roof to let the heat and smoke rise up out of the house to make a better environment for our firefighters inside. Typically after the fire is out, there's still smoke left in the house. We would put this fan at the front door and use it to push the smoke out of the house. Another type of saw here, we call this a K-12, and this is more for cutting metal. We could cut through, say, a metal door or maybe a, a metal gate. Also would be used if we had uh, to cut a hole in a roof of a commercial building, like a Walmart or something like that. So back here, we keep various sizes of ladders. We have a big one if we need to climb up onto the roof. We have a smaller one here we would take up on the roof with us, and we also have a smaller one if we need to take it inside and maybe get up into an attic. We have several different sections of hose. If the ones we have pre-connected on there aren't, aren't enough, we would pull these off and use that to connect to the truck. Um, actually, another line pre-connected in here is what we call our red line. That's more for putting out smaller fires, uh, grass fire, trash fires, things like that. Um, another bag here, which is our hydrant bag, I use the tools in here to connect the hose to the actual fire hydrant in the yard. Here we have our extrication equipment. We would use this if there was a vehicle accident and we needed to help get somebody out of a vehicle. We have this, this wood here is what we call cribbing. We would use it to stabilize the car. And then down here we have our rescue pump. It's a hydraulic rescue tool. You may have heard of the jaws of life. That's what this would be. We use it to open up doors or cut metal out of our way to get a, a victim out of a car. Moving forward, we have more hand tools portable cord reels if we need to have more lighting in the house because if you're in a fire if we're in a fire we would typically shut off the power to the house so we may want to bring in our own lights so we can see going forward we have more sections of hose these are already pre-bundled if we need to grab these out say we're going into an apartment complex or something we want to take some upstairs with us we have some more hose here we can take with us so this is the inside of our fire truck. Basically it looks like the inside of any other truck except there's a few special things I like to use. This actually controls my pump. When we pull up on a fire, I need to engage this to make that pump panel I showed you earlier work. And then I also have the controls for our lights and our sirens and all that kind of stuff. On the captain's side, there's a computer 
and he can bring up call notes. We can find out what's going on with the call there. He can get us directions on how to get there if we don't know how. We also carry headsets that we can put on to help us communicate with each other and also with the dispatch center. Now that you've had a full tour of the truck, let's go for a ride. It's important to remind your parents that if they hear a fire truck or see one coming up behind them, to pull to the right side of the road and slow down or stop so we can get around them.